What up, what up, what up, people? What's going on? It's your boy, Miss Locario. Listen, when you're dealing with chicks, okay, be the dude who she's fucking. Be the guy she's fucking, okay? Basically, what that means is that whenever you're dealing with a chick, make sure that it's leading to sex as soon as possible or in the direction of sex. Somehow, it needs sex needs to happen because if you're not... If you're not get, getting sex from her, she's basically getting it from somebody else, and then you won't be the guy who she's giving sex to or having sex with. You understand? You have to be the guy who she's having sex with. Now, if you ever dealt with a girl, and let's say you were talking to her, and y'all were talking on the phone, and then sometimes you call her, she won't answer, but then she'll probably call you back later, and then y'all meet up, but then, you know, you try to get physical with her, but then she's being kind of standoffish and playing around and all this other stuff, or she comes by your house, or you go by her house, and you try to you know, get all physical when she's just bullshitting, she's most likely using you for attention. So, you know, you're her attention guy. She's just using you for attention. She's not going to give you any sex. Then you have, let's say you ever been with a chick, you take her out, you buy things for her, you spend money on her, and but she's not giving you any ass. There's no sex happening. You don't see any sex really happening. You know, it, it's just nothing. Nothing's really going on. Like, she's using you for the money. So, you're the dude who just buys her shit, you understand, and takes her out and wines and dines her. Now, you ever have a situation where you are, you're, you're talking to a girl, and she's telling you all her problems, and she just wants to call you to talk, and, you know, you like her, she knows you like her, but, you're, you know, you're, you, she, she says you're her friend, and, you know, like, so basically, you're just there as her her. To, to, for her to dump her emotions on you. You're the emotion guy. She just like, you know what I'm saying? She's just using you to spill out all her emotions. But she's not going to fuck you. She's just using you for those things. So a lot of times women, they're dating around and they're dating this guy and that guy. But it's usually this a guy she's fucking. So what you want to do is you want to be the guy that she's fucking. You want to be the guy she's having sex with. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to be the other guys. You don't, you don't want to be the attention guy or the guy taking around, spending all his money, or the guy that's just there that who she wants to call up, you know, crying after the guy that fucked her, you know what I'm saying, left the house, and you know, whatever. You don't want to be those guys. You want to be the guy who is fucking her. Now, the, the reason why I bring this up is, is that when you're interacting with women, right, you yourself will set the tone of who, what type of guy you're going to be to her. You understand? Now, let's say she meets you, and she's not even that attracted to you, but she's, she knows you're feeling her, so she's like, damn, well, I'm going to just make this guy take me out. You understand what I'm saying? And then you have to basically be like, look, you know, I'm feeling you. I want, you know, we need to get some sex popping off at some point. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that vibe needs to be there so she knows, like, damn, I can't just use him for this because he's going to want some sex or he's going to bounce. You understand what I'm saying? So either... She's going to have to be like, well, he's kind of cool. I'm kind of feeling him. I'm going to have some sex with him. She has sex with you. Or she just kicks you to the curb because she didn't want to have sex with you in the first place. Either way, you win because now either if you have sex with her, you're having sex with her. But if you don't have sex with her, at least she's not wasting your time, you know, making you her attention guy or whatever, or, or you spending money like this. You understand? Now, there are going to be situations where you have women who, for whatever reason, let's say a chick is very religious or some shit, and she's like, well, I can't have sex until this happens, or I'm married, or whatever it is, or, you know, she's a virgin, and she's just not ready to, to do that yet, because sex is still special to her, you know, that type of stuff, right? Now, you have those, those situations, but generally speaking, the chick you're dating, like, if you're dating a chick right now, and let's say you went out on a couple of dates with her, and the sex still isn't happening, then by, like, the third date, there's still no sex happening, you're probably the guy who she's just using for money, you know, if, if you actually pay for these dates or whatever. She's just using you for that entertainment and the, and the money value, and she's, and she's most likely fucking some other guy. You understand? So when you're with the chick and when you're being with the chick, get physical, get sexual, and see how she responds. And if she does not respond to, your, to you being sexual, then you need to kick that to the curb. You understand what I'm saying? Because if she's not responding to you um, being sexual, she's and she's not on some religious stuff, or she's not a virgin. 
if she's not responding to you sexually, then you're not the guy who she wants to be fucking. And you want to have sex with this girl, so you being with her makes no fucking sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to keep it moving on to a girl who wants to be sexual with you. You understand? You have to be the guy that she wants to be fucking, the guy she wants to fuck. Is that simple. Stop wasting time wishing upon a star, thinking, oh, if I, you know, she said that she likes to take it slow. Because they be saying all this bullshit, I like to take it slow, I want to take it slow. Oh, my God, I need to take it slow, I need to get to know a guy because, you know, I need to think it's special and blah, blah, blah. Bullshit, okay? These same chicks telling you they need to take it slow right after they come off the date with you. They're going to suck some uh, uh, body else's dick. You understand what I'm saying? And sometimes they'll say these things because they meet you and they like you, and they're still un under the assumption of thinking, "Oh well, I want to like wait because he's going to respect me more if I wait, and I really like this guy, and I want him to be my boyfriend." And blah blah blah, all that bullshit. Don't even think about that shit. Your point for f fucking with her is that eventually you want to have sex. Even even if you, let's say you want to date and get to know the chick too. Let's say you're a dude, you actually want a girlfriend. You're like, look, I want to date this chick to see if I'm, you know, I'm feeling her or whatever like that, right? Even still, at some point, you're going to want to have sex with her. And, and if you're a dude who's just trying to get sex up front, you're just like, look, I just want to have sex with this girl. You let her know what the deal is. You know, don't beat around the bush. You're talking to her. Let her know it's a sexual thing. And then you move on from there. From there. In either case, you need to let these chicks know that you are not going to be her emotional douchebag guy. You're not going to be her fucking uh, uh, entertainment dude that's going to be taking her out, spending money on her and all this other shit. And you're not going to be the guy that's just going to be feeding her attention. Okay? Make sure you are not those guys. You be the guy who she's fucking. All right? So, yeah, that's all I want to say. Oh, before I, before I go, I wanted to ask you guys a question. You can leave this in the comments section. Talking about sex and, and, and chicks giving you sex or you getting sex and, you know, you having to wait for sex. What is the longest time any of you guys had to wait for sex? Be honest. Put it in the, in the, in the comments section. I'll go first. My longest time I've ever had to wait for sex was in high school, and I will never let this happen again because it was horrible six months, okay, and I, I lost my freaking mind, and I know some of you guys probably, and I'm talking about waiting as far as, like, you actually dating a chick, Not, I'm not talking about, like, you just have no chicks and you haven't had sex in a while, I'm talking about you actually seeing a chick, you met her, y'all are chilling, and then it took you up to this point to have sex with her, it was this chick in high school, I was dating six months, horrible, don't let that happen to you, but anyway, let me know what y'all think, let me know what it is. Be truthful. Let's, let's see what it is, all right? I'm out of here. Truth is inside you. Peace. Later. Master the game by joining dating and life coach Mr. Locario live in New York City on Friday, May 15th at So Techy Spaces for his new seminar, Reclaim the Game. Mr. Locario has some exclusive new realistic approaches to the dating game that will help you be successful with women. Purchase your tickets at MrLocario.com. Space is extremely limited, so pick up your tickets today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com.